restrictions of the UK withdrawal from the EU. Well, um, personally, that sounds like um, I don't like the outcome of the original vote, um, so I'd like another bite of the cherry uh, to see whether it can be uh, reversed. The result uh, in June 2016, albeit by a small margin, was a decision to leave. Uh, it's my understanding there is no turning back on a referendum. Uh, it would be a complete farce if uh, you could have another crack of the whip. However, my point is that there is a very good argument to avoid that vote if it can be concluded that the public were totally misled. And it is my belief that a large section of the British public were misled in forming their decision to vote to leave. Now, I have been the chair and major shareholder of public companies, and as a board, we were obliged when sending out a prospectus to shareholders and the public that all comments and forecasts made by us had to be scrutinised line by line by auditors and lawyers in a very tough due diligence and verification process. No such process exists uh, for claims politicians make. Um, in convincing the public, who, by the way, rely upon them and trust them uh, to place their vote. In some cases, misleading shareholders uh, has resulted in prosecution, imprisonment. Applying a public company principle, it should follow that those people who will be responsible for putting this country into five to ten years of post-Brexit turmoil based on lies should be imprisoned or at least prosecuted, <laughs> such as Boris Johnson and Michael Gove <laughs> for, the, for the £350 million lie they put on the red bus. Now, on the eve of the Brexit vote on the 22nd of June 2016, I was invited by David Cameron to take the lead for the Remain camp in the great debate that took place on the BBC. To this day, my lords, I kick myself for turning it down. At the time, I felt I wasn't qualified enough to stand up and discuss all of the various intricacies involving the leaving or remaining in the EU. Instead, the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, took my position. He did the best he possibly could. But having... <laughs> I'm being polite. Uh, <laughs> but having watched the debate, I was fuming that somebody didn't ask Boris Johnson to put his hand on his heart, look down the lens and tell the British public that the £350 million was a truthful statement. Now, one thing is for sure. I know, in my forceful manner, I would have made him admit he was lying. And who knows, maybe that could have swung the vote. Now, similarly, Gisela Stewart a German immigrant who took advantage of joining uh, the uh, EU in 1973 came here in 1974. Uh, she, she really has flourished. She became an MP, a mother of two, and I believe a grandmother. Uh, my point being, she was an immigrant who flourished and contributed, but yet she stood that night in the Leave Group criticising immigration by implying that 80 million Turks were about to come running to our country. A total lie. She said it's simply a statement of fact that uncontrolled immigration puts pressure on services. Well, I, I would say pot kettle, my lords. <laughs> Today, my Lords, we have no understanding of the negotiations that are taking place between the, us and the EU. I, I do hope and believe that a rabbit will be pulled out of the hat shortly. Common sense must prevail that at least we get a trade deal. I am a businessman and I sympathise in a way with the Prime Minister who is possibly in a frustrating position of knowing how the negotiations are going but not being able to publicly disclose the status. The media, bless them, make up their own stories and that everything is going to be a disaster when in fact they don't know what's going on at all. Now, my experience in business when negotiating with another party is you do not lay all your cards on the table. You have to keep your cards close to your chest. 
One can't keep the public at large in touch blow by blow. This was effectively destroy our negotiating power. I seriously believe the public were misled, and for that reason, I, well, I, I will conclude by saying that I, I, I believe that the um, public should be entitled to a vote um, for the final negotiated terms. Yeah. My Lord, it's yeah. a, a great pleasure.